Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Monster Hunter Frontier. I'm here to do another Frontier Pacific Monster Quest. This is the Duragawa. It's going to be at the tower. It's hunt this is the Hunter Rank 22 two-man Duragawa, so I can go sell it quite easily. I'm using a uh, full couch FX, which is one of the premium sets, with the uh, couch hammer, uh, the paralysis one. I don't know what it's called. And, um, it will probably not have um, the name in the description because I can't remember what it's called to save my life. Why I grabbed the paintball, I still have no idea. Jurgao is kind of a neat monster because, one, it only appears at the tower, uh, except in the special. Uh, Arena quests that you get for the hundred rank point, uh, for hundred rank point quests, which is kind of nice, but you can't sell all that one. It's also not available right now. But back to the monster. It's uh, it's quite cool because uh, the backstory is a little bit different than, than most monsters in that uh, this one, uh, Jurgao was actually sleeping up until recently, and some mo and some uh, I believe it was explorers came to uh, investigate the tower a little more, and they ended up uh, breaking into its nest and waking it up, and so it's become a um common hunt amongst hunters now. So yeah, we'll head out here. It's a little bit ways in, but uh, the good thing about it is it doesn't actually leave the area, so I don't have to worry about it running around or having to find it. <coughs> Excuse me about that. Excuse me. Blech. Moving on, uh, it's a pretty fun monster. It's kind of neat because it's both it has both ice and sleep attributes, and so and it also has its very own status ailment that uh, works similar to ice blight and try, and uh, can be get, gotten rid of with a hot drink. Which is why I'm carrying them, despite the fact that it's a uh, it's like a tower. So, and also his tail can only be broken when he's in rage mode. The tail actually doesn't get cut; you can break it, so it's like uh, double Veruku, so you can break it with a hammer. It's kind of nice. He's also got a lot of spinning attacks where he hits multiple times and can do a lot of damage. This one is going to be really weak, though. I'm kind of fighting it with an overpowered weapon. Notice I I took very very little damage at all. The set has over 600 defense, though. And so there's there's the status ailment. You can see it uh, right next to my name. Kind of small, but um, that's the uh, status ailment. Works like ice blight. Your stamina goes down really fast, and you also lose stamina like you're in a cold air without a hot drink. Now, I'm getting absolutely owned in this quest. I haven't fought this monster in a very long time. But I've been so busy actually going in and grinding hunter ranks that it just hasn't really happened. BAM! There's this rage mode. Don't have earplugs in this system. The one skill I don't have is earplugs. I like to have earplugs, though. You notice he's got a lot of spinning attacks. I feel like I can get a paralysis off on him. There's a sleep. The uh, sleep is actually light blue, which is kind of nice. You can tell it's sleep. Wow. I'm just looking like a real new on this quest. This is on rank 22. I'm on rank 300 and. 39, something like that. This thing is owning the own daylights out of me. Look at that half HP already. This is ridiculous. Yeah, it's kind of it's a fun monster to fight. Especially if you have a good team, you can actually trap lock this thing and hame it into submission. There's the head break. This hammer has like 1331 attack it's, and 300 paralysis. Let's see if we can't. Oh come on, stepping on me really? Super pound in this, game, in this game is also really underpowered. So you want to try to triple pound whenever you can. This is just real, I have to say, this is a really sad quest. I don't want to fight it again because I really don't like fighting this monster. And normally I would gun it and it has one with me or I'd use dual swords on it and stuff like that. Or I'd hunting corn for a party. Go, Kamere! My hawk. Got it up to level 2 recently, which is kind of nice. So actually, it's going to do a, it actually breaks the damage limits, uh, does a lot more damage too, which is really nice. Just about to hit to hit adrenaline with the set though, too, so if he hits me again, I'll do a lot, good amount of damage. There we go, there's a the paralysis. Let's go for a KO. This hammer's got a really long reach too, so I have to watch where I try to aim for with the. with, with it. With, oh, excuse me, I'm talking too fast. I have to watch where I'm going to aim with it because I can actually end up, as you see there, missing the monster entirely even though I should have hit it. Should go for a KO, but it's probably not going to happen. And let's go to the 
Okay, so there's a claw break. It is. So I've got, I've got one break left. That's a tail, and I probably won't get that. Oh, there's the knockout. I might get the tail break after all. And... Not seeing it happening, actually. I've got regular damage plus two, so I'll have bonus damage my criticals, but... No, I'm not seeing it happening. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a different monster. It's not too hard. It's really not too hard at all. Let's see if I can't roll this. Nope. Still getting used to that. Hitboxes in this are so much different than Try and Portable Third. It's just really weird getting used to it. Even though I'm, I've been playing this game for months, I'm still not used to hitboxes. There's its taunt. Do that. It's tired. Let's see if we can't get a second knockout. I'm probably not going to have it. probably going to die. I'm probably not hit out again. Oh, there we go. And there's the adrenaline for 1996 attack. Just short of 2000. Actually, sharpen his claws, which is kind of cool. And there we go for the kill. Well, I actually need to carve this thing because I've got a piece that I want to upgrade with this lower rank stuff. So we'll go ahead and grab that. Didn't get the tail break. Uh, the spikes actually what are actually what breaks off on that. So that I'll have to work on. I have I literally have like 120 high rank scales because I farmed the hunter rank one so many times, which is kind of convenient because you get these special uh, coins you need to upgrade um, these uh, premium sets. Uh, by trading in one, two, or three of his high rank claws. So that's really nice. But yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And if uh, you did, don't remember. No, don't, don't remember. Man, it probably would help if I didn't record these at like two in the morning. But yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did enjoy it, remember to like and subscribe. And this is Gravion, signing out.